Hi, Sam here, along with my hair. This is the white wine video for the January 2021 Wednesday Night Wine Club shipment. I really should have come up with a shorter name. This month for the white wine, we are drinking Diego Canterno 2019 Nascetta, which is the name of the grape variety, and it's coming from the Longhe region in Italy. So Nascetta is unique in the sense that it really is only found in one area, the Longhe, in all of Italy. Chardonnay, for example, found all over the world, even in the Longhe. But this indigenous to that one area, and really, up until recently, almost completely forgotten about. All right, so let's taste the wine. One thing you're gonna notice about this on the nose, really aromatic. I get notes of rosemary, sage, I get honeycomb, and then I get just almost ripe tangerine. Now, if you're gonna eat that tangerine on its own, it'd be tart, it'd be way too much. But because of that honeycomb note, you're actually gonna want that to help cut through the richness that would normally be associated with something like honeycomb. And now we taste. Whoa! Acid for days. This wine tickles you a little bit, you know? Makes you just kind of perk up. Interesting though, with the acidity, salinity wrapped up in that. You get that kind of salty, briny, think green olive. And that then helps kind of go back to that herbaceousness that you do find with the rosemary and the sage. You still get those citrus notes, that, that slightly underripe tangerine, mandarin orange, uh, and then honeycomb. So really well balanced. If you were missing one of those pieces, the wine would either be too shrill, so that's if there was no honeycomb, if there was all honeycomb and none of that acidity, none of that salinity, the wine would just be like, bleh, like biting into a stick of butter. Nobody wants that. This wine is pretty versatile in what it'll pair with. You can do this with red meat, as long as it has something like a chimichurri sauce. This works well with chicken, with fish, herbaceous green salad, cheese, charcuterie. I mean, it. A lot you can do, uh, but especially if it has a green olive component in the dish, lights out. Lastly, if you really like this wine, but you sit down at a restaurant, you walk into your local wine shop, you can't find it, what do you drink instead? Well, Sauvignon Blanc, great call. A Italian variety called Vermentino. Pretty easy to find. Vermentino's made pretty much anywhere in Italy. Incredible. Gruner Veltliner from Austria. And then, trust me on this, dry Riesling. Don't be afraid. I know how people feel about Riesling, but it can be dry. You will get those tangerine mandarin notes. It might not have as much body to it, but the wines are fantastic. A lot of people very afraid of Riesling, and it's one of my favorite varieties. All right, cheers.